so now uh, students we are going to discuss the next topic and that is called as underpinning so whenever the word like underpinning is there so it is related to strengthening of your existing foundation jo bhi aapka footing hai usko aapko strengthen karna hai ya to at lower depth you want to go okay so that is underpinning so here uh, definition wise it is the method of supporting the structure so here also we are supporting the structure while providing a new foundations below an existing foundation so here you can see this is your existing foundation okay now you want to uh, uh, construct a new foundation below your existing foundation or whatever this foundation you want to strengthen it or strengthening of an existing foundation without disturbing the stability of existing structure existing structure ki stability ko koi bhi effect nahi hona chahiye and in the same condition now we have to strengthen our existing foundation then it is called as under pinning okay so during under pinning the existing building is temporarily supported and definitely uh, you have to support this building because that instability that will become the major concern so wrecking sure or depending upon the requirement you can sure it so generally under pinning operation when it is going on you have to provide shoring also so situations in which situation you can go for the under pinning work so when building with deep foundation is to be constructed adjoining a building which is built on shallow footing abhi aapka shallow footing ka ghar hai baju mein ek bada sa apartment banne wala hai abhi so it needs that it has they have to go for the deep foundation so that excavation work is going on and your shallow footing uh, it is uh, now exposed okay so in that case you have to strengthen your shallow footing first okay so this is the first condition the foundation is to be constructed adjoining a building which is built on shallow footing second in order to protect an existing structure from the danger of excessive or differential settlement of foundation so due, due to differential settlement alag alag part par alag alag type of settlement hai bara mat koi khudare settle thai jaye koi ko chut settle thai jaye so in that case differential settlement condition it may also result in cracks in the wall so in that case you have to strengthen your foundation in order to improve the bearing capacity of foundation so as to sustain the heavier load ave tamara structure par load suppose vadhi gayo chhe so in that case you want to either deepen it or you want to widen it Uh, so that uh, or you want to take it to a deeper depth where the soil bearing capacity is higher so in that case you want to improve the bearing capacity of your foundation so in that case also you have to go for the underpinning or in order to provide the basement for existing structure uh, if uh, in your existing structure now you want to provide the basement so you have to open your uh, particular foundation you have to provide it or you have to strengthen it so these are the conditions which are demanding underpinning so what are the precautionary measures or points to be observed before implementing appropriate underpinning measures so these are the points which should be carefully attended so first is shoring and strutting so it should be done in such a way that existing structure is safe during the process of underpinning okay so shoring is the essential requirement properly you have to support your unsafe structure because you are going to strengthen the foundation so already unsafe hai usko first aapko shoring and strutting karna hai then examination of the structure so you have to carefully examine the full structure and appropriate un underpinning method is to be used and all the poor masonry work such as joint crack plastering if it is there then it should be rectified first okay so proper examination of structure then repair work if certain urgent repair like cracks ho gaya to grouting of crack insertion of the tie rods between the wall if uh, walls are not properly secured so the tie rod that can be inserted so all necessary repair work if it is required then it is to be done before underpinning starts then checking of level arrangement so the levels may be marked on the structure because whenever this underpinning is going on some uh, uh, that movement of the structure may be possible so this movement of the structure during the underpinning it should be checked properly and it should be recorded okay so that level arrangement is to be provided and you have to mind well that this is a very expensive operation so it is not a science but it is an art and it should be exercised depending on the situation and as it is very expensive all the precautionary measures are to be taken first before proceeding for 
any underpinning for or any method that you are choosing for it okay because it is expensive so there are various methods of underpinning that are generally used first is pit method that is khado karvo barabar je bhi tamari site che ani aaju baaju khado kari ne aplo whatever your uh, foundation footing that is now exposed so that you can easily stand the next is pile method so you are diverting your load of the structure to pile okay next is miscellaneous method so these are all different methods uh, that can be utilized to increase the bearing capacity of the soil that is cement grouting chemical method or chemical consolidation freezing method bifurcation method so these methods already you have learned in case of uh, that uh, control of ground water during excavation in that case the purpose was to avoid the entry of ground water by stabilizing or by strengthening your soil so here the purpose is different it is for increasing the soil bearing capacity okay and to make the soil uh, or to uh, uh, strengthen your existing foundation so here pit method so pit method so all over your found, uh, foundation you have to uh, go for the pit now this is the method that is generally adopted in the pit method so entire length of the existing wall so in the plan here this is the plan okay so here uh, this is your existing wall now in this existing wall entire length of existing wall is divided into suitable sections of 1.2 to 1.5 meter so big length hai aapke paas to usko 1.2 to 1.5 meter ke section mein divide kar lo then each section is excavated at a time so uh, generally alternate sections are to be made so in the uh, so here you can see this is your wall okay and below that it is consisting with the old foundation this is your old foundation that you want to strengthen so from this existing wall you have to divert your load correct load of the structure so that can be uh, made in the form of needle 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 beam okay it is nothing but it is the beam kind of string a steel ka section hota hai theek hai so the holes are made at general plinth level plinth level pe you have to just make the hole and through this hole you have to insert your needle with the bearing plate so this is the plate which is called as bearing plate uh, below that you are having that steel beam or uh, that needle beam and that is to be supported on jack so here these are the jacks okay jacks are provided and some support creep support in the form of certain support you have to support it okay now what will happen now because you have diverted your load now it will not come to your existing wall now you can start with the strengthening uh, so here you are having all the pit that can be created okay and you can strengthen your existing foundation to so, yahan pe aap dekh sakte hain deeper depth mein jaake yahan pe aapka existing foundation ko strong kar diya so after doing all the supporting arrangement pit is to be excavated existing foundation is taken to the desired level so what is generally done alternate sections are taken up in the first round agar yahan pe first section hai yahan pe second hai then uh, the length is more than third section so initially you have to take out work at first section then third section like that so alternate sections are taken up in first round and the, then remaining sections are strengthened and if wall is weak breaking sure may be provided so that is generally done so here in the figure you can see this is nothing but the i section that can be provided so here in this figure itself you can see this is your wall and uh, through this jack and supporting arrangement this needle is generally inserted supported on jack and uh, you can go for the excavation of pit and then you can uh, strengthen your existing foundation so this is the actual figure of your pit method now certain times it may be possible that so here uh, you can see uh, uh, this wall uh, inside as well as outside both the sides are taken but sometimes it may be possible that outside uh, you are not having certain space to go for this arrangement so in that case uh, the cantilever method is used which is called as cantilever needle beam method so here outside space we are not going to utilize at all whatever space we are having inside that we have to use the method is same okay by inserting the needle so here you can see this needle this bearing plate but here by some loading arrangement and at the center the support this jack is supported on the fulcrum 
so this arrangement additional arrangement is to be done inside so to properly uh, support your needle so if the uh, if the space to support the needle on outside is not available the cantilever needle projecting inside may be provided with the fulcrums and bodings okay and this hydraulic jig may be placed between the fulcrum and the needle so this way you are supporting the existing wall and all the load is transferred to this needle and you can go with the uh, this pit excavation of pit and in this underpinning pit you can extend up to your desired level and you can strengthen the existing foundation so this pit method it is generally utilized by excavation of the pit below your existing foundation and then strengthening it so what are the precautions to be taken because uh, in the existing foundation pura khadda karke aap kar rahe so some precautions are to be taken one section should be excavated at a time sub section ek saath pe khod nahi dena hai aapko one by one you have to do it alternate section should be taken in succession one kiya to baad mein three karo fir five karo means secure karo one and three is secure now then you can start with the second like that if the length of the wall is more in that case the underpinning is generally started from the middle abhi length zyada hai aapka wall ka theek hai suppose this is the wall so you have to start from the needle uh, that middle part then you have to go beyond both the direction okay in both the direction then proper timbering should be provided in the trench because you are doing excavation okay and uh, you have to go for the proper timbering work and it is desirable to provide the new foundation of concrete suppose some old foundation it is of different material then you have to go with the concrete now because you are going to strengthen it advantage kya hai very simple method labor cost is less then continuity of the use of existing structure you can continuously use it you don't have to go at some other places okay you, you should uh, there is no need to vacate your vacate your particular existing house so you can stay there but disadvantage is uh, it may often result in moderate deformation of the structure kabhi kabhi ho jata hai movement hota hai then unsafe working conditions are there because you have to work under that heat next method is pile method so this is very uh, simple way this is your existing wall okay now load load transfer has to be done now and this is your existing foundation that is to be deepened or strengthened so piles are driven along both the sides of the wall so here you can insert your pile and needle in the form of pile cap so here we have to provide about this particular pile in the form of pile cap okay so this pile cap is provided that will work as a needle and this pile is going to take the load of the structure now so this existing uh, wall uh, below this pile cap it is relieved from all the load of the structure and it is diverted to this pile cap and this pile will take the load okay and uh, it is useful for the water logged area and the walls which are carrying very high load jab bahut zyada load hoga to pile pe transfer karna padega and if the structure is light light structure hai the piles are driven on both the side of the structure and the brackets or cantilever needles are provided to carry the structure so in that case the cantilever needles or the brackets can also be provided in case of the light structure the whole uh, load will be transferred to them so by installing this kind of uh, pile you can take the load of existing structure next miscellaneous methods so very simple method cement grouting so generally if you want to restore the slab and pavement the jo pavement hota rasta or slab uh, which has settled usko aapko strengthen karna hai so generally cement grouting is used for this purpose so generally uh, you know the cement grouting cement grout is nothing but is a mixture of cement and uh, your particular mortar so these holes are drilled in the slab so uh, small holes are to be drilled and then cement grout is forced under the pressure and this pressure is maintained until the cement grout has set so that will increase or restore your existing slab or pavement next is chemical method so instead of cement grouting you are going for the chemical so it is also called as the chemical consolidation so this method of the foundation of the soil is consolidated by employing the chemicals and generally useful for the granular soil so very simple method perforated pipes are given okay all these perforated pipes are given in the inclined direction beneath the foundation ye aapka existing foundation hai usko aapko thoda strengthen kar dena hai theek hai and this new foundation is to be uh, constructed 
so below your existing foundation inclined perforated pipes are to be installed and the slopes are provided such that entire area under the existing footing comes under the area to be strengthened okay then after the pipes are installed once the pipes are installed the solution of sodium silicate in water is injected through the pipes and when you are going to withdraw this pipe then at that time you are in, uh, inserting calcium and magnesium chloride okay so the chemical reaction would take place between the two chemicals and that will strengthen your soil so this soil that will be strengthened and consolidation would take place so this is the costing depending upon the nature of soil depth of the consolidation and site of the work so you can uh, consolidate the whole soil okay and you can go for the new foundation work so this existing wall temporarily it is going to support your particular existing load by soil consolidation you can say next is freezing method so here uh, this freezing pipes that can be driven below the existing flooring and soil is frozen so once the soil is frozen then it will uh, act just like a very uh, physical barrier and that will um, be strengthened but rarely adopted due to as it is expensive and also more time is required for the installation of the freezing pipe so generally this method is not widely used but this is one of the method that can be useful next is vibro flotation so here the main purpose is again uh, to increase its density okay so this is done by vibrating the sand so this uh, vibro float that can be utilized by existing soil or by inserting the uh, soil from outside the whole uh, area or the whole uh, soil that can be consolidated properly okay so when we are vibrating the sand it will increase its density and it will automatically increase its bearing capacity of the soil and generally useful for the granular or sandy soil but before uh, the process of underpinning starts you have to do this sabse pehle ye kaam kar lena hai underpinning start karne se pehle aapko soil ka bearing capacity increase kar dena hai and building uh, and its structural components are showed care carefully so before starting your underpinning operation strengthening karne ke operation se pehle aapko pura ka pura soil bearing capacity you have to increase also you have to properly secure all the storing purpose and the vibrating equipment or soil to be compacted is to be isolated from the building and its storing part okay so basically by vibration also you can increase the soil bearing capacity and that can be useful for the purpose of increase in soil bearing capacity and then after start with your existing method of underpinning so thank you very much